Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a meal prep and a grocery haul. So let's hop on into the video. Okay guys, so hopping right into my grocery haul from Walmart today, I did a pantry stock up and it feels so good to like restock on some of these essentials. I spent about $190 to completely restock. If you guys are wondering, me and my family, there's four of us here. We spend right around $500 a month in groceries for a family of four, I'd say four to $500. And we do tend to eat on the healthier side. We try to be as gluten-free as possible, incorporate as many vegetables as possible. So anyways, let's hop on into the staples that I got for my pantry today. All of the fun things that we're going to be making in our meal prep video today. Okay, so I kind of have this all over the place, but first I have bananas because I plan to make banana muffins and I like to cut these up for breakfast for the kids. Um, and then one of our snacks in the house, our go-to snacks are the go-go squeezes. I just get the variety pack of the um, applesauce and of the um, yogurts. The kids have already dug into this, as you can see. Um, and then for canned items, because that's kind of what we're jumping into right away here, um, I just restocked the pantry. Um, for a cream of chicken and corn, diced tomatoes, um, tomato paste, cream of mushroom. Um, this is Rotel. I just get the great value version of everything because to me it tastes just the same as like the brand name and they're only 50 cents a can. Um, such a good deal for all of this. So anyways, Rotel, um, more tomato paste. I have Ragu here, that's our favorite. Um, they gave me three of them, so I don't think they meant to give me that many, but that's okay. Um, but one of these will last us about two to three meals worth of spaghetti. And I do have two packages of spaghetti in the cupboards right now, gluten-free spaghetti. I like to have zucchini noodle spaghetti, um, but just like some of our favorites that we like to have for easy dinners, especially with fall coming up. Um, zucchini noodle, spaghetti squash, and gluten-free spaghetti is like a staple in the house. Um, back here I've got some of Kaya's favorite soup. I've got some chicken noodle soup in the pantry currently. This is one of her other favorites, which is um, the broccoli cheese, chicken broccoli cheese with potato by Chunky. That's a really good one. Um, and then back here I just have a gallon of unsweetened vanilla almond milk because they don't sell my oat milk at um, Walmart I have to go to Target for it and my Target's been out of stock for like two weeks so I'm getting kind of sad so we've been having almond milk lately um, we just went through three things of almond milk in a week um, from Costco so I had to get another one of these um, and then we do a lot of like Parmesan encrusted fish and pork chops and things like that. Um, I don't have any pork chops on the menu for the next couple weeks, but I do have lots of tilapia and salmon and chicken planned. So um, I will typically use just like one bag for each um, Parmesan encrusted like protein meal that we're doing. And these are such a good deal. They're like $1.75 on sale um, for this um, shredded Parmesan, so good. Um, and then I got the grated Parmesan as well. And this is um, for like the spaghetti. I also have lasagna planned this week. Um, speaking of lasagna, so I have two cottage cheeses here because my kids like to have it for snacks and breakfast. And then I'm going to use one for lasagna. I've got some ricotta because I'm going to be doing a gluten-free million dollar pasta. Um, as we get towards the beginning of September, we do tend to have like more pasta meals. Um, so I try to do like vegetable or gluten-free versions of those pasta. Okay, so over here I have some of my favorite um, light laughing cow wedge snacks. I like to have these with some gluten-free crackers that I have from Costco. I bought like a huge pack. I showed you guys in my grocery haul last time. Um, anyways, this is just super good with those gluten-free crackers, especially when you're on Weight Watchers. It's just such a like low point snack. So anyways, that also Harry Potter in the background because I love Harry Potter. Okay, so getting into the rest of our canned items here behind the hotel, um, I have some paprika, which is what we used for our um, encrusted recipe. The two main ingredients are paprika and um, the um, shredded Parmesan. So I just have um, lots of paprika. We go through it so fast. Okay, and over here I have um, pumpkin pie mix. 
Now, I just wanted pumpkin puree, um, but they're completely out of stock everywhere. I even checked Amazon, I checked Target, Amazon, my local grocery store, and Walmart. We're all completely out of canned pumpkin. So I had to get this pumpkin pie mix. I've got some pumpkin muffins and pumpkin bread coming up. And I'm gonna have to see if I can include this in there. Um, this is gluten-free as well. Um, I don't really care about the low fat, but we'll see. I'm gonna have to experiment. I'm crossing my fingers that this will still work. Um, I got some chipotles, in, or chipotle peppers in um, the adobo sauce because um, I make a really, really bomb chipotle sauce um, with coconut milk and a little bit of sour cream. Um, coconut milk, like the full fat canned coconut milk because you need like the like thicker stuff from inside the can. Anyways, I'm gonna be doing some burrito bowls as you guys will see in my meal prep here. Um, so I'm going to make some sauce from this and another can of the pumpkin pie mix and some pumpkin pie spice. I'm gonna use this for my coffee and in a couple of recipes coming up for you. Um, again, the ragu. And then behind here, okay, so I've got, okay, so I have egg noodles and I got the wide egg noodles. Um, these are not gluten-free, but I use this for the kids. Once in a while, I'll make a stroganoff with this. I need to find a really, yummy like gluten-free um, substitute for this. Like I said, we eat mostly gluten-free. Um, I do once in a while just have like traditional um, like noodles and things like that mixed into like our meals. Um, anyway, these are staples for like chicken noodle soup and like turkey chowder and stroganoff and things like that. Um, especially with fall coming up, I love to have these egg noodles on hand. The kids absolutely love them. And some of the gluten-free noodles that I picked up this time, I love the bonza or banza, I don't know how to pronounce it, spaghetti um, that's made from chickpeas and the texture is really good. Um, on the back here you can see it is um, gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, and then also has a low glycemic index, which means that it's not going to um, spike your blood sugars, which is um, what I'm going for, especially when um, you want to be low carb slash keto. These are not super low carb. Um, there's 48 grams of net carbs, as you can see, but because there is a low glycemic index on here, um, it means that my body isn't going to react um, as badly, like blood sugar wise. Anyway, all around these are just a bit healthier for you than regular noodles and I like to give myself like regular meals every once in a while I don't always want to have zucchini noodle or spaghetti squash spaghetti and this is a really good like happy medium um, instead of getting the um, traditional spaghetti noodles another kind of pasta that I get is the rot uh, rotini from Bonza super good um, for like the million dollar pasta I love to or the million dollar casserole people call it several different things um, but this is a really good um, noodle replacement for that if you're looking for gluten-free. Um, back here, I couldn't find a perfect um, oven-ready like lasagna that was gluten-free, um, but I did find this one, so I will let you guys know what I think about this gluten-free pasta um, for lasagna. I'm super excited because I've been craving, just like all the pastas clearly I've been craving, um, because it is going to be fall very, very soon. So anyways, I'll let you guys know um, what I think about this. And then I just have regular mac and cheese back here for the kiddos, for lunches. Um, I'll be keeping Kaya home a couple days a week now for homeschool. We do have a homeschool routine, um, which I plan to show you guys very soon. Got some quick and easy breakfasts. I had ordered like five of these breakfast bowls. I got a meat lovers one and then um, like four of the meat lovers ones and a few of these bacon ones, but they only had one in stock. So that's gonna have to do for now. Um, and then I also got these Fit Breakfast Turkey Sausage Breakfast Sandwiches. Um, and I believe there are four in here, but my goal was just to have some quicker, healthier breakfasts on hand for me and the kiddos. Um, one of our favorites, I like to get these like in a mega pack, um, but I haven't been able to find them at Costco lately. Um, but these are the Frozen Power Waffles by Kodiak Cakes. Um, we get the buttermilk and vanilla, and we also like to get the blueberry. These are so good, and the kids love them. 
Um, getting into some of our like vegetables. This is just kind of like randomly placed in here. I use this garlic for everything and I like to have like the fresh minced garlic um, in water versus um, getting like powdered garlic, so yummy. Um, I just have some poblano peppers back here for like either a taco soup or doing like fajitas. I love poblano peppers, they're so good. Um, and then I got some green peppers, colored peppers, lemons, I like to have this on fish and in my water, um, honey crisp apples because tis the season. <laughs> I'm really hoping to do apple crisp here in the next couple of weeks as well. Um, I like to use Honeycrisp, Fuji, or green apples. Honeycrisp is my favorite um, for doing the apple crisp. It depends on if you want like a sweet or more of a tart apple crisp, but had to give me some apples and Riker has been loving snacking on these lately. Got some oranges and I just always fill my orange bowl over here with these because I cut these up every morning for the kids for breakfast. Um, and then I got some fresh corn because it was on sale. And I love to have this with like fish or chicken. Um, got some turkey pepperoni just for snacking. I find myself craving more like proteins when I want snacks. Um, and these are really yummy to have with those gluten-free crackers. Picked up some gluten-free chicken tenders for the kids. These are my favorite. I honestly like these more than the original chicken um, tenders. I'm not a huge Purdue brand fan, um, but I believe these are newer. The Simply Smart Organics. Um, gluten-free chicken breast tenders. I highly recommend these. These are so good. And then I picked up two bags of chicken breasts um, because we have a lot of chicken meals coming up. I've got like an enchilada bake, grilled chicken, um, and then I do have like a couple of gluten-free like chicken casseroles coming up. Just like easier meals you guys will see in my meal prep here in a little bit. And then I also got some tilapia fillets because this is my favorite when you do the Parmesan and paprika encrusted fish. It's so good. I've showed you guys in a recipe video before. Um, let me see if I can find it and I'll have it linked down below for you. But that is everything in our haul today. Like I said, $190. I restocked the pantry. Um, I can't tell you exactly how many meals this would be, but we do typically spend right around $400 to $500 a month on groceries. So I would say we wouldn't have to refill for another couple of weeks, at least on like the meats and the vegetables. This will all probably last us much longer, like all of these canned items. So starting into the meal prep part of this video, I'm just getting my vegetables cut up and prepped for the week. I had two things that I wanted to prep these for and that was burrito bowls and also wanted to prep my vegetables ahead of time for my taco soup. I soak all of my veggies in a Thieves blend and warm water. And then after I'm done soaking my veggies and making sure that they're nice and clean, I rinse them really well because I don't want any of that like thieves residue left on them. I will then empty inside the peppers and then cut them up. So like I said, I'm just prepping for burrito bowls and for my taco soup. And the taco soup veggies I'm going to be placing into a Ziploc baggie and freezing for later. I'm just prepping our dinner for the evening. I did this right around dinner time. So I'm doing our Parmesan paprika encrusted tilapia. I just do a little bit of avocado oil to give it a good coat and then I will um, toss it around in the mix and I will just kind of eyeball it. I do have an exact recipe in another video for you guys. I will have it linked down below for you guys if I can find it and then I will just top off the fish with a little bit of lemon. I left one without lemon just because I wasn't sure if the kids were going to like it but that's how I make my fish and then I will just put it on our smoker for about a half an hour to 45 minutes and it turns out perfectly every single time.
So here I'm just prepping some chicken for the week. I'm doing a Southwest style and then more of just like a normal style chicken. I typically will season my normal style chicken with paprika, salt, and pepper and garlic powder. For the burrito bowl chicken, I did a Southwest Chipotle blend. It's just like a market pantry brand. And then I did paprika and salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. And here are the fajita vegetables that I'm adding to the burrito bowls. And here I am just shucking the corn for dinner tonight. I love having fresh corn, especially this time of year, because it's just so yummy. It's fresh off the fields, it's so good. Um, and then I am getting ready for my pumpkin bread and pumpkin muffins. Like I said, I couldn't find any canned pureed pumpkin, so I had to go with a pumpkin pie mix. And I'll tell you guys this, I did not notice a difference. It was a little bit sweeter, but it wasn't intense. It was actually really good, and they turned out just as yummy. So I will have the recipe for my pumpkin bread and pumpkin muffins down below. The biggest thing I will point out here is that you need to um, use Crisco to grease your pans and then also add a little bit of flour for the pumpkin muffins. I did not flour them, I just greased them up with Crisco, but I don't cut corners when it comes to my baking and I'm super, super messy when I bake, but I never cut corners when I'm baking. I'll go full unhealthy mode because if I'm going to bake, I'm going to make them good. So anyways, I will have those recipes linked down below for you guys, I swear by them, they are so good. My secret chipotle sauce. Now this is just a cup of mayo, a cup of sour cream. If you wanna double the recipe like I did, then go right ahead. I did two cups of each just because I knew I was going to be using this for uh, quite a bit of recipes in the upcoming days. We're doing lots of Mexican recipes and it's so good on everything, you guys. Um, and then I'll just do like three chipotle peppers and some of the adobo sauce left over in the can. 
so yummy and then I'm just using a leftover sriracha container to put the sauce in so that it stays and it's nicer to spread I did notice that it was getting caught just because there's like chunks of chipotle in there so I noticed that when I was trying to squeeze it out it does get stuck a little bit more so I would suggest maybe something a little bit with a wider like tip on it but I'm just covering it with like packing tape and labeling it um, so that Mike knows what it is and it is his absolute favorite sauce that I make. He begs for it all the time. So you are welcome. It is the most amazing sauce on absolutely everything. So here are the final results for the burrito bowls. I will just layer um, cilantro, lime rice with fajita vegetables grilled chicken I put on our smoker it just adds a little bit more flavor and then I top it off with chipotle sauce when I'm ready to eat it these are so good and they're pretty healthy they're about eight points per bowl if you're on Weight Watchers like I am I'm on the Weight Watchers blue and I love these for like a really filling lunch so anyways you guys that is going to wrap it up for today's video I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and meal planning and meal prep I hope you guys enjoy these recipes as much as me and my family do, and I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video, okay? Bye, you guys.